they've been watching you, Nariko. You fight with style. Hello! Style! Perhaps you're here looking for your father. I think you might have a troubling time finding all the pieces. <laughs> Nariko, 
Do you know how to die? <laughs>
utterly average. You need more time. The clan believed that guarding the heavenly sword was an honor, but I did not. I despised it. I secretly imagined that maybe the heavenly sword was just a sword, not sent from heaven at all, nor likely to be claimed by some grateful deity that would make everything right again. If that were so, then I was not a curse, or any of the other things they called me. This I kept to myself. What's she doing here? 
Damn it, Noriko! Maybe she can help us. She'd better help herself first. keeping him somewhere else. With every age that comes to pass, there is one born to greatness, sent from heaven to shape the world. A divine vision. <laughs> I am the one. <laughs> <laughs> so where's the sword? Hmm? Hmm? General Flying Fox, I will choose to believe that the reason you let it slip through your hands is some... Oh elaborate attempt at humoring me, and not because you are an incompetent fool. I am uh, not a fool, say. It's a matter of opinion, sweetie. Did something speak? I can smell something fishy. <laughs> like a rotting octopus crawling with slimy maggots. As opposed to a sexless skull. Excuse me! Five. Spooking out of every orifice. I said, excuse me! I like laughing. Silence! Is my middle name, sir? General. Understand this. I need protection. There are those who wish to expunge me. You do that. I shall protect you with my best endeavor, sire. And, of course, the uh, right price, sire.
There's something about that man I don't entirely trust. Uh, uh, dear Shin. <laughs> you see, my sole purpose is to bring order to the disparate tribes of this land. Would you allow your people to suffer all for the sake of your silly pagan beliefs? What would you have me do for you, my most sublime king? Steady. What have I told you about calling me that word? It's bad enough seeing you blot out the sun each day without being reminded that you sprang from my youthful and exuberant loins. Sorry, Daddy. Oh, don't be cruel to the little boy. Poor darling. Roach, go and make our guest a little bit more uncomfortable. <laughs> Hang him somewhere nice and high so that he can be seen by his devoted daughter. Yes, dead, dead. Just go. All of you, just go. Bring it to me, Nariko. Bring me. Heavenly Sword. Free us! We weren't made for cages! Please, free us! <laughs> 